Do you think sweet bacon is only for the pros? Then I'm here to help you to master the sweet bacon in 5 simple steps. And for those who don't know me, my name is Lucas and I help guitar players to get over that intermediate rut to finally get their playing where it deserves to be after all those years. Now, when it comes down to learning sweep picking, I used to struggle with making my sweep sound fluid and fast. It always felt like hitting a wall and you know what helped? Getting the hand mechanics right. With a solid foundation, sweep picking is easy. Sorry to be the bearer of good news, but sweeping is easy when you get these steps right. So the first one is how to hold the pick. First, make sure your thumb is parallel with the index finger and just insert the pick in the middle. This allowed me to lower the pressure of how tight I held the pick. When you hold the pick just with the tips of your fingers, you'll need to squeeze the pick much more, which can result in less of a smooth sound when sweeping. Which brings me to the step number two, the angle of your hand. If you want your sweeps to sound smooth, you've got to avoid having your wrist tilted like you're about to play some riffs. For smooth sweeps, try to angle your wrist so the pick is more parallel with the strings. Awesome, well done, let's keep going with the step number 3, which is the actual movement. When sweeping, try to move your hand at the same time as well. If you just rely on rotating your wrist, it might become hard to mute any of the strings on top. Instead, take your wrist with you as you travel up and down. It's actually a very similar movement to the regular strumming. The only difference with sweeping is the note separation, which is the step number 4. Make sure you lift up the fingers so the notes can come through individually sounding like an arpeggio instead of sounding like a one chord. This simple three string arpeggio will help you to understand how to lift up the fingers so the sweeps can come through clear. And the last important step is the overall pressure when sweeping. A common misconception is that gripping harder and tensing up will give you more control, when in reality it's the exact opposite, and it applies to both of your hands, simply as if you're picking too hard, it's going to sound awful and you won't be able to reach those fast, smooth sweeps. And at the same time, if you are fretting too hard, You won't be able to return in time to the fret and your fingers will be just flying all over the fretboard. So just relax, keep your fingers close to the strings and just apply the minimum amount of pressure needed. Until the string bus disappears. And just with a smile on your face, start sweeping. If you want actual play long sweeping exercises where you can put all of this knowledge into test, then check out my next video that you can find somewhere around here, so you can become the sweep king you deserve to be. Apart from that, thank you so much for being here and supporting this channel by watching these videos. And as mentioned, if you're feeling stuck with your playing and just can't figure out on your own how to get to that advanced level, so you have the ultimate freedom over your instrument, then check out the first link in the description. Don't worry, there is no webinar, free training, none of that. It's just a video of me telling you how I can help you to get there. In full transparency, it is a website designed to sell you something. I'm not going to pretend it's not. You don't have to click it. I really don't mind if you click it or not. But if you're ready to finally get your playing where it deserves to be, then make sure to check it out. Apart from that, thanks for being here. Keep shredding and I'll see you in the next video.